Man, look how beautiful this entrance is. You guys know good and well anybody living within these gates appreciates quality. And you know anybody living within these gates, if they had me come to their house, they wanted just that. And I'm getting ready to show you guys a brand new crawl space encapsulation that we just finished up for my great friend Don Cummings. They recently moved down here from New York. And man, they had problems in this crawl space that you're not going to believe. Hang on just one second. Let me get out of this van. I'm going to take you guys through it all. I'm going to let you know real quick that in the backyard, you're gonna see a lot of work going on where he's had this landscaping company out here. They're redoing the entire backyard. The grass was settling in areas, and Don is so particular. He said, come on, let's do away with the grass and we'll just travertine the whole thing. So I'm anxious to see what progress they've made since uh, I was here two days ago. I was gonna do this video yesterday, but the rain, it kind of canceled my plans. So let me grab me some knee pads out of the back of this van and get ready. You guys ain't gonna believe it. Man, I'm going to have to hurry. It looks like the bottom's going to fall out of the sky in any minute. But for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tanner Flowers, and I started a company here locally back in 2005 called Tennessee Tanner. All we did back then was wildlife removal. We removed nuisance wildlife from people's homes and businesses. But in 2008, we started doing crawl space encapsulations way before crawl space encapsulations were cool. Check them out. These guys do great work, I'm telling you right now. I've watched that boy right there level every single one of those tiles. They've been working their butts off. Let me get this camera flipped around here. We're gonna go under this crawl space. They had a drain coming out right here from the AC line that was just dripping like crazy. I'll try to throw in a before picture. They're rerouting that water, getting it away from here. Let me get in here and uh, get these knee pads on. And also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these boots off. So just give me a second right here and I'll be right back. Wanted to take those dirty old boots off because man, we got this place literally spotless. And uh, we have worked super hard in here for two weeks straight. Um, we just finished this up the day before yesterday. Like I was saying in the van, I would have had this video done yesterday, but yesterday wasn't a good day to be out shooting a video. And what you guys are getting ready to see, normally I install a 12 mil poly underneath these houses. Anytime a homeowner has a, a backfilled gravel foundation on the, on the flooring, so you know, under a new construction, so let's say they've gone back and put gravel underneath the whole thing, leveled it out, I always recommend a 20 mil because those rocks can penetrate the poly, especially when they use a larger grade, kind of like a 57. So anyway, what you're getting ready to see is a 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly. Let me flip this camera around. We're going to get going because we got about like 3,000 square feet of crawl space to go through. This thing's never ending. Let's go. Every duck line that you see and that you're going to see within this video, if you reached up in the back of your shirt, touched any of these, you would be soaking wet. Don't see any moisture on my hand, do you anymore? Nope, because every single one of them is now dry. <clears throat> Don had already had three different incidences with his AC unit system under here. Luckily, they've all been covered under warranty. By the way, we did not do the insulation in this crawl space. But the unit kept having trouble due to the moisture in the crawl space. And I will insert some before pictures throughout this video to give you guys a reference as to what we were dealing with whenever we first started this project. To my right, you'll see that <coughs> duck line there. Anywhere down that whole entire duck line was standing water. where it was just constantly dripping 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 and you guys might think man I can't believe they're having that in that brand new home well guys it doesn't matter how nice the home is how new the home is or how old the home is if the conditions are right these problems that are happening underneath your houses which most of you even know anything about is doing a lot of damage and it's going to be causing you a lot of trouble in the future and if you look up and find out that you got problems early enough before you know really any damage occurs you know oftentimes you can get the problem resolved without having to do any flooring repairs this home is actually only 
four years old actually just turned four years old so and when you're going up and down snow hill road right here in Udawa, you'll always see you know just tons and tons of beautiful homes beautiful communities and i'm just telling you in my opinion hampton on the lake that we're in right now is amongst the nicest ones you're going to come across so you can't even go underneath that duct anywhere here so we had to go all the way down here to the end of it before we could go around this corner here and once i go around this corner you're going to see this thing really open up uh, let me go right through here let me sit here and try to look right i mean guys it, it, it's just endless it's hard to really appreciate it because these ducks are interfering with your view. But man, I don't know if you can tell. I mean, the, the crawl space goes so far back that way. I'll try to cover it and give you some more shots as I come up that front wall of the house. If you look over here to my left, you'll see one of his four humidistat fans that we have installed. People will install those humidistat fans right there in hopes that it's going to take care of a moisture problem under the house. It will not take care of your moisture problem. And then when they install these, 99% of the people that install them, there is a metal framework around this. They simply come in here, sit this against the, uh, you know, the foundation wall, and they'll put a couple mortar screws in it. They hardly ever put all four of them. And then there's a gap of air along the sides of the framing. And this thing will be just sitting here turning air. And if that's doing that, guys, you just wasted your money. It's not doing anything. You'll notice any time in any of our jobs, click on any video that you want to click on at crawlspaceartist.com. All of our Humidistat fan vents will be sealed completely 100% around them so that whenever they kick on, they are taking air from within this crawl space and shooting it outside. And that's what's going to relieve any stagnant odors that may be built up within this crawl space from the trapped air of the encapsulation. Let's go further. Oh man, these piers were something else. They had, you know, the big open tops. I know not any other companies wraps the tops of piers. You know, a lot of them will stop just below the top. Guys, we go the extra mile. If you're going to pay me to do something, I'm going to give you a better job than anybody you could have ever found. And I'm going to do stuff under here that ain't nobody going to do. I'm treating it like it's my own house. You might say, well, why would you be that, you know, focused on your work? Well, guys, my work is my reputation. I haven't had a real job in nearly 20 years. You know, my family feeds off my reputation. All the jobs that you see us doing, and you know we stay covered up months in advance, every one of those jobs nearly is a referral from another job. And guys, when you're getting a job from a job, you know you are doing something right. We're coming up on his first dehumidifier system in here. Let's see what the moisture levels are down to. 42%, wow. These were at 78% whenever I turned these on. I'll get to the next one here in a minute. I put the next one over there in the heart of the problem. That P trap right there though, that you see, that's where the water from this unit goes up, over, down, and right into the drain line directly out this home. The only maintenance that ever has to be done on these units, you do have to change the filters in them once every six months. You'll see right back there, is a second humidistat fan that we installed within this crawl space for Don. Let's go a little further here. <clears throat> Try to show you all these piers he's got going down through here. That's actually got the steps above it, I believe, within the home. <clears throat> and guys, if you live within this community and your house is a crawl space home, which I'm sure the majority of them are, if you want it taken care of and don't want to have to worry about moisture no more, just give me a shout, 423-503-0512. Don was under here with us. I believe it was uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. I wanted him to come uh, under here and take a look. I was pointing some things out to him and uh, he was laughing at me. He said, Tanner, we're not gonna be eating off this thing. But guys, I mean, once again, this is my reputation, not yours. You know, I don't. I know I don't have to make these jobs as perfect as they are. There ain't nobody under here, you know, holding me accountable but myself. These jobs look like they do because that's the way 
we want them to look. I don't want anything else out here representing my name looking half-ass. We don't do anything half-ass here. Never have and ain't gonna be starting no time soon. Check this out. Look where that main pipe came in here. I hear another humidistat fan right back here. That's gonna be his third one. There it is, Don. What a crawl space, guys. Man, this thing's huge. I'd rent this place out, Don. That's what I would do. There ain't no telling what somebody paid to live down here per month. <laughs> anyway, coming up over here, Don, remember, your garage is going to be coming up to our, to our left over here. Right underneath that main duck line there is going to be your second unit. I'll dip under there and check all that out here in just a second. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, though, the reason I put that dehumidifier right here is not only to take care of this side of the home, but I specifically put it over there in the heart of the problem because that's where all those duck lines are running to the main back there. And as you know, we've had some heavy, heavy condensation off that uh, main AC system. I just looked whenever I came in here a second ago and it is still dripping some in the in the crawl spaces in the past over all these years that I've seen Don when they have a AC unit in their crawl space like what you do here there will typically be a drip pan located directly underneath it and I do not see that on yours so the drip pan is for the condensation I mean they know it's going to condensate so when I get over there to that in a minute I'll try to point that out and in my opinion, I'm not an AC guy and I'm not dogging anybody's work because whoever did this did a great job on these duck lines. I mean, it looks like everything's been done just as good as anybody could do it. But I think it would be a, a wise choice to have them come in here and install one of those drip pans. <coughs> I mean, it can't be much money at all because it's not dripping much. It's not even hardly dripping enough to make a puddle. And the dehumidifier, I'm sure, is pulling most of it out. But that would be keeping any of it from coming off the bottom of that unit. I can't remember exactly how many piers we had in this crawl space, but look at that, guys. I mean, there's no telling how much time I had just in doing these piers. <sighs> Once again, I could have done them a lot faster. I could do all these jobs a lot faster. Good thing I'm not running a race, and good thing that the people that are hiring me appreciate quality. That's what we're going for, guys. You call anybody else, their job is to get you done and get on down the road as fast as they can. It's like coming into a restaurant. They got it so cold, they want you to eat and leave. These guys come under your houses, they got a job, all they want to do is get you done and get out of here. And then they hope that you ain't going to call them back. You know, guys, I want you to call me back. And furthermore, I want you telling your friends. I want you telling your family. Because if you know anything about construction, good luck finding anybody. I don't even care what the endeavor is. Good luck finding anyone that's going to come under here and work for you like we're going to. You know, you got to really, really care about what you're doing to put out quality like this and not just once guys this ain't just some friggin marketing video you're seeing here we've been doing this for years over and over and over again go to crawlspaceartist.com there's probably over 50 videos there you know I'll, these homeowners most of them can't even come under here and see this work you know these people charge them tens of thousands of dollars to do all this stuff and half of them don't even get to see what they what was done so they don't even know. They don't know how how great it is or how crappy it is. So you ain't got to worry about that with us. And if you've been following me for any time at all now, you know this is the way we've been doing business since the beginning. Anything we do, wildlife removal and crawl space encapsulations, guys, now we're doing stump grinding. If you guys got any stumps where you've had some trees removed or say some trees have fallen down in these storms give us a shout i bought a brand new stump grinder the best you can get done underneath here look at where that's condensating right there along the bottom of that there is no drip pan right here 
I, I'm not trying to act like I know everything about HVAC units. I do not, but I am telling you, I have seen for years, anytime they've got a system inside the crawl space like this, and they've got it on a frame, just like they've got this suspended with chains right here, there will be a metal drip pan right here. They can suspend it right under this. Anybody that knows anything about HVAC will know what I'm talking about. If it was me, this was my house, I'd put me a drip pan underneath this thing because I bet it ain't going to cost near nothing. And then any of that water that's dripping off there, off the bottom of this unit, that'll be catching it. <clears throat> and it wouldn't be getting a chance to come down on top of that poly. <clears throat> Let me try to squeeze through here, guys. We're coming back up on the entry now. Now well, you'll see my old dirty boots coming up. <clears throat> and I really really hope you guys were able to get a good grasp of what everything looked like under here let me get over this pipe i'll try to go under this duct right here coming up because there was a huge section you guys didn't even get the chance to see so you know i, I was just filming from over, over there in that area check this out that all you guys didn't even see there's the p-trap here for the second unit Let me go up here around that one pier because I think you can see the majority of the center of this crawl space from right up here at this angle. I'll lay right here, guys, and show all you homeowners, including you, Don, especially in your wife. Look here. Here's what you paid for. You let me know if you're unhappy with anything. Don't know how you could be. Sorry, I just about dropped the phone. Look at that. Man, that looks awesome. This 20 mil is something else. I mean, it's almost as, it's almost like laying linoleum floors. I mean, man. There, once again, there's your second dehumidifier system. It's been pumping water out of here like crazy. You can see it right there. Going right out the drain line. I'll flip this phone around give you guys a farewell message so first and for, first and foremost to you mr. miss Cummings thank you so much guys for letting us do this work for you we really really appreciate it thank you to Willie Austin my father-in-law for all of our wiring you know all of our electrical needs if any of you need any licensed contracting done or licensed electrical work my father-in-law, William Austin, is a licensed general contractor and licensed electrician in Tennessee and Georgia. So just give me a shout and I'll hook you guys up if you need anything. You want me to more honest, man. Except maybe me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you need any wildlife removal done at your house or business, give me a shout on my cell phone, 423-503-0512. I was talking about the stump grinding a minute ago. I bought the best stump grinder you can get. I can get it in the, your backyards and in places that you couldn't get a huge machine. So guys, just let me know. All you got to do is text me pics of the stumps. I'll shoot you a price just via text. If you want us to come out and take care of it for you, we'll take care of it. You know we're going to do you right. And as always, to see our entire Crawl Space video encapsulation library, all you got to do is go to crawlspaceartist.com. I'm getting ready to get out of here, go knock out some inspections, and getting ready to start our next job in Harrison, Tennessee, just up the road on the water as well. And uh, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.